Registered nurses who work in the Encino Hospital Medical Center's emergency department sounded off on their concerns. They say the hospital still has not done enough to keep staff members safe and that there are serious security and safety issues. We're here today to talk about workplace violence in our hospitals, a problem that seems to be increasing year by year and is beginning to plague our profession. But it is difficult to focus on giving someone the best care when you know that is no one to protect you if in case things escalate. Shame on you! Shame on you! We're 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 It's a sad fact that many employers have policies that discipline and sometimes even terminate healthcare workers for trying to take our accrued sick leave so that we can protect our patients. This is why additional protected time is so important. I was left to choose between going to work to pay the bills or being there at my son's side while he was in the hospital. It may sound unbelievable if you haven't experienced it directly, but some employers actually have policies that discipline and sometimes even terminate healthcare workers for taking their accrued sick leave. These policies are the same ones being used at Amazon and Walmart. We have an obligation to uphold the laws that we make in the legislature. What's this about? Patient care. What's this about? Patient care. What's this about? Patient care. When do we want it? Because pandemic era restrictions have lifted, not much is expected to change with the lack of statewide emergency today. But a group of nurses protesting in Ventura County wish some things would. They were key in pushing a statewide law to enforce nurse to patient ratios. It passed in late 2019. These are not guidelines. This is law in yes. California. Our members have issued hundreds of complaints about ratio violations, and nurses across the state have submitted many more. Responses to our complaints often take months, even cases where the complaints included patient death or demonstrate that patients' lives may have been at risk. Sometimes we never hear back at all. Coast to coast and right here in SoCal, from Downey to East Hollywood to Moreno Valley, hospital workers at Kaiser Permanente walking off the job because they say it's time for a change. Because of the lack of staffing, a lot of nurses are getting burned out. They're leaving the profession. It makes us, you know, our job harder, and we cannot provide the quality of care that they want us to do. Staffing is so important so we can give the best care to our patients. Our patients are important to us. It's our passion. That's why we're here. We, we have the same solidarity with SCIU 121RN. Kaiser continues to not pay our workers what they deserve. They continue to not bargain in good faith. And so that is what I'm asking for Kaiser to pay. We're both RNs here at Kendron Hospital. Um, we are out here fighting to get more support from our administration and safer staffing. Past time, we should be recognized for what that all we do and be compensated fairly in a fair and uh, safe environment that we can continue to provide the best care for our patients. So on behalf of our fellow medical nurses, I say we are ready to take whatever necessary action to fight for a fair contract. <laughs> we move as well. <laughs> attacked by a patient that hit me with her cell phone as hard as she could and knocked me out. My name's Jennifer. I'm an ER nurse at Yorkville Medical Center. I was born at this hospital and I came back so I can help serve the community I grew up in. I'm here today because I'm trying to get administration to listen to the nurses, give us the resources. 
resources and the training that we need so we can help our community to succeed. This community that I grew up in and that I love. Nurses at a Monterey Park hospital are now one week into a 10-day strike. This was the scene outside Garfield Medical Center yesterday. The nurses say inadequate staffing and equipment are having a negative impact on patient care. We have monitors that are over 30 years old in the critical care department, in the NICU department, which we have to constantly MacGyver away to find out how to make it work and function. I'm fine. When I go home, my heart's beating and my lungs are breathing. I'm fine. It's the patients who are paying the price. Shame on you. We can see your greedy side. We can see your greedy side. Nurses and healthcare professionals have been negotiating their contracts with Healthcare Corporation of America since May. They've been raising concerns about what they say are staffing shortages as well as patient and staff safety. You see nurses get to the point that they have to take it to the streets and call for a labor strike. That means something is very, very wrong. provide excellent quality care to our patients and HCA makes that nearly impossible with a staffing. We cannot continue with skeleton staffing to provide the quality excellent care that we know our community expects from us. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm from Los Robles Hospital. I've been a member of the community here in Thousand Oaks for since 1987. I've been a nurse here and a staff member for 21 years and we are on strike. We're fighting for patient safety. My name's Steven and I'm an operating room nurse here uh, at Riverside Community Hospital. And we're here on the strike line fighting for safe staffing uh, and making sure that we have enough nurses and enough staff that we can take care of our patients the way we want to be taken care of every time for every patient. 